box with hand grenades written on it. I haven't got that in my car. No. You lost. Well, that's because I was up against this lot and a 60-ton tank. You were up against a letter. <laughs> Can I just ask about the car? Yeah. Well, it was ruined. Yes, it was, but there's a very good reason for that. You see, the thing is, that car used to belong to a drug dealer, and the judge who banged him up said his car had to be destroyed, OK? And I thought, rather than let the police put it in a crusher, why don't I give it a heroic fighting chance? So the bloke who used to own that car... Yeah, condom man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was watching that, probably in his prison cell, on the telly, thinking, that's my car! Yep, and it gets worse. <laughs> How can it get worse? Because it was only damaged. There's one and a half miles still to go. The game's still on. <laughs> Sit, rep. Not, not, not really, if I'm honest. Quite dusty. A lot of pollen. A lot of pollen. <laughs> Come on! Now I'm no longer bulletproof. Come on! Come on! Come on. taken out the engine and the onboard camera. You set fire to Dorset! With your tracer, stop it! Then their tracer rounds set fire to the car as well. We'll call it a draw! They seemed happy with that. Unlike, I suspect, the man whose car it... uh, was. Joking, were you? I mean, these are real bullets. Oh, yeah. Hundreds of them. I said it was live fire. Yep. Yeah, and they all missed you. Yes. <laughs> Is this a 50 cal exit wound here? In the Where? Bit? Here. Oh, yes, no, that one, we've worked it out. It went in here, OK? It went through the chassis, through the petrol tank. I'm not joking, it went out there. Then it went all the way across Dorset, Devon, Cornwall. And do you remember that post box in the Silly Isles? Yeah. <laughs> It wow. actually hit that. I took, I, you know the 50 cal, right? This is the air conditioning matrix we rescued from the burning wreck. This is a normal bullet hole. That is a 50 cal bullet Ooh. hole. Ooh. Do you know what? What? I find this a little bit depressing. Because it was the bloke who dealt drugs. It wasn't his car, was it? No, I know what you mean. But it is going to catch on, I'm afraid. Next week, we are going to find a benefit sheet and Flynn's microwave off Beachy Head. <laughs>